let's say that you have a table with two people and those two people have the exact same column values for first name, last name, gender, date of birth and email. So you can see in this table, you have two women called Anne Smith with the same date of birth and an email which is almost the same apart from the actual domain, one with Gmail and the other one with Hotmail.com. Now, if you were to uniquely identify, for example, the first bro, how would you do that? Well, in this table, it's impossible because there is no column that can be uniquely used to identify someone. So if you are given these two women to distinguish between them, and this is where primary keys come into play. In real world example, the way you identify a person, it could be, for example, by using the passport number, and that's guaranteed to be unique for everyone. There are other documents that you could use, but let's stick to passport number in this example. Now, the passport number in this case can be used for our primary key. Primary key is a value in our column which uniquely identifies a record in any table. In our case, it identifies a person. And in this course, what we are using as primary keys are numbers. So one, two, so on and so forth. And the way that we are managing those is with a sequence. We could use a different data type for our column ID. And I'm gonna show you the best one, which guarantees to be unique every time it's generated. But for now, big serial is fine. In the next video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to work with primary keys. Join me there, see ya.